Howdy do everyone, Phil back again for replicas of the past. Let's take a look at this here replica real quick. It is a 116 scale Oliver 1855 with front wheel assist. Made by Speccast, of course. Speccast box, very common looking box from Speccast. Nice Agco uh, logos here on the either end. Speccast quality information on the back of the box it says 2023 for release so this is a new release all right we'll move on to the start of the show the spec cast Oliver 1855 all right everybody here it is the spec cast 116 scale Oliver 1855 New release this year from Speccast. They always uh, do some cool stuff with uh, Oliver's, Moline's. And um, I have a lot of Moline's and Oliver's and they're all, almost every one of them are Speccast, save a few. The uh, Speccast is really nicely done products. Um, if you don't have one, watch some of my other videos along with this one and you'll see some nice stuff on them. This was only like 80, maybe $80 plus the shipping. So right around 100. I got it from Dalton Farm Toys, by the way. It's pretty nice. Classic old looking Oliver here. You can't beat these box style design tractors for my, for my money and for my worth. I really do enjoy them very, very, very much. Very, very classic old tractors. Love the 60s, 70s, and 80s tractors a lot. As far as this tractor from tractordata.com, Oliver 1855, produced by Oliver between 1969 and 1975, part of the 55 series. Previous model was in the series was a 1755, and the next model was a 1955. It says manufacture Oliver in parentheses, a part of white. Now this one doesn't say white on it anywhere. No, I don't see it, but I know White did buy them out. Original price tag in 1975 was thirteen thousand dollars. PTO tested for this tractor is ninety-eight point six horsepower. Drawbar tested eighty-two point six horsepower. Here's a neat picture of a real one on tractordata.com. Classic old Olivers. I've seen, uh, whoops, I've seen many of these over the years, especially in my younger days in the 70s and 80s. Um, many times I've seen Olivers 50, 55 series, you know, many, many of those farming in my area for sure. We'll start at the back here like we always do. There's your rear end area. The arms of the three point are metal, but the center link is plastic. Nice straw bar that does move. Back of the fenders, you got a work light or a brake light, I think it looks like, and a work light. Nice flat fenders, of course, you got your box style design here. Driver station. Nice details, shifters, levers on the right hand side of the console. Looks pretty good. Your seats are clover white with the black trim. See your steering wheel black dashboard, like an orange color. That is not a decal, it's always inserted with that cast. Got little handles either side up here for the entry to the driver's station. There are stairs on both sides for entry to the operator station there. Long, flat, straight hood, ain't that nice compared to today's tractors. <laughs> I always go on about that, but I can't help it. <laughs> you got a nice little muffler here, intake as well. Decaling looks good. Long clover white stripe, like a bronzish colored line through it. 
Oliver over the engine area 19 or 1855 near the driver station over under hydraulic shift diesel engine component and details engine is plastic on these most of these spec cash tractors the engine is plastic doesn't look too bad though that cast always has a spare amount of detailing on these. There's your nice grill, inserted lights, inserted uh, Oliver logo there at the top. Checkerboard style almost grill there. Nice uh, slab weights on the front of the tractor as well. Looks good. 4 four around, all rubber, of course. Standard up tire that Spec Cash uses quite, quite predominantly, I would say. Wheel, rear wheel is metal, of course. And then Spec Cash really makes these things nice and pretty, fairly sturdy and heavy. They are fragile, though. The front wheel is a big, fat, tall uh, front wheel assist tire. Front tire looks good. Your front wheel is your clover white of course with the center cap being the meadow green it's a really nicely done replica here for sure old classic Oliver all right we'll do a quick old uh, comparison here and let's do that now all right here's my Oliver 1855 spec cast front wheel assist alongside my Ertl International 1256 front wheel assist that is Prestige Collection release. I did a video fairly recently on that one as well, about a week or two ago. All right, I'll move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, Speccast 116 scale Oliver 1855 with front wheel assist. New release this year from Speccast. Really cool tractor. I didn't have, I think this is my first 1855 in my collection, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that, but I think it is my first. I'm starting to gather quite a few Olivers that are actually a similar setup with the front wheel assist pretty cool though like I said predominantly my Olivers are spec cast I do have a few Ertl though I must say I love them all I love all this style of tractor it's they're great 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 looking tractors for sure classic classic farm history all right everyone I'll close out my video I want to thank everyone that always tunes in this is Phil for replicas of the past you all have a blessed day and I'll talk at you soon.